So my relationship to time felt not like a relationship. It felt like um, something that I was almost a victim of or that was in my life that I had to figure out how to fill. And now I don't think of it that way. I even don't think of filling every hour as a mom. It's kind of, I'm gifted the opportunity to be present and um, <clears throat> just realize that I, I have all the time that I need and that when things aren't done, it means that they're not my priority. So now I realize that, um, that time is relative and that there is uh, a lot of support or there's a lot of ways that time can support me and my energy and using um, cyclical thought and framework has helped me to just figure out when it's best for me to do certain things. When things take hours to do, that's probably not what I should be doing. And so it's, it's really revolutionized the way that I think about my life. Now I know when I'm, when I'm making my art and painting that there are certain times of my month that it's better to do certain things. Like if I try to produce something really detailed when I'm in my luteal phase or my menstrual phase, that it doesn't work. It takes a lot longer than, than when, I'm, when I have certain energy to do certain other objects. And also I give myself permission to stop doing and let things go, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I often will um, even leave my paintings with less stuff in them, less things to look at, leave more white space on the canvas, um, as well as letting them go, realizing that they can be packaged up and sold or stored and not to hold on to everything because that's just stuff too in the end. So.